Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Ben and in this video, I will be talking about the Google IT Support Professional Certificate offered by Coursera. Now, I just wanted to make this video because I remember before deciding to take this course, I was trying to Google and YouTube stuff about this course, but there really wasn't much resources, many resources out there. So I just wanted to create this video for those of you guys who are in the same position that I was and didn't really know whether or not this course was gonna be worth it to take and whether or not it was effective. So in this video, I'll be talking about four different things. I'll be talking about how much this course costs and how the payment is set up. Secondly, I'll be talking about um, how this course is structured and what you guys can expect material and content wise in this course. And also I'll be talking about my personal experience and my recommendations for you guys, whether or not to take the course. And lastly, I'll be talking about how this course has helped me out so far in my IT career. Before I dive into the video, I just wanted to say that I'm not an IT professional. This was actually my first certification that I've ever gotten. So I'm just telling you guys my personal experience and you know my personal recommendations because I did complete the course. So first, let's talk about how the payment is set up in this course. So this course is $50 a month. It's not a flat fee or anything like that. You just pay for however long you take. So say you take one month to complete the entire course, you'll just end up paying $50. While if you take 12 months to complete the entire course, you'll pay $600. So it's just a matter of how long you take to complete the course and that's how much you are going to pay. So in this course, there's five different modules. The first one is about technical support fundamentals where you just learn how to troubleshoot things customer service, things like that. The second one is going to be about networking. The third is operating systems. The fourth is going to be system admi administration and infrastructure services. And the last one is IT security. So in each of those five modules, there are gonna be five to six different sections called weeks. And within each of these weeks, there are going to be about five to 10 different short videos, which range from around one minute to around 15 minutes. So there's going to be a bunch of short videos and also towards the end of each section each week, you're going to be having a practice quiz. They're relatively short as well. They're only like five to 10 questions max. And also depending on which module you guys are on, you guys also face a practice lab, which is also graded. So the practice labs don't really take a long time to finish. They're relatively short. You do have one hour to complete the entire lab. Um, but I guarantee most of you guys won't be taking up that one hour. Um, the labs come with, you know, descriptive instructions that you guys can just follow along with it. And you guys also learn a lot from these labs. So make sure to not just zoom through it, but also take the time to understand the concepts and what it's trying to teach you. And that goes for the whole course. So for the content itself, the short videos, they're not really boring. You guys are gonna have someone like this speaking to you directly in the videos. Um, you guys can toggle subtitles to make it easier to read and understand. And also under the videos, you guys are going to have the script that the narrator is going to be reading from. So you guys can just scroll down instead of looking at their face the whole time like this, you guys might get bored of that. So if you can just scroll down and you guys can just follow along as they're reading to you. So these videos are not boring at all. They're pretty easy to follow along and you guys can take notes while you are listening to the videos and you guys can pause and do everything like that. So what do I think of this course? Well, since I was a complete beginner, I had no previous IT background. This course was really helpful for me. Now, like I said before, guys, this course covers five different aspects of IT. So once you guys, you know, finish the course, you're going to be pretty well-rounded in your IT knowledge. However, this course doesn't really go as in depth as if you were to take the CompTIA A+ where it just focuses on one subject and it goes really deep in that subject. But in this course, it focuses on five subjects and they really go from beginner to intermediate knowledge level. They don't really go as in depth as the CompTIA because obviously it's covering five different aspects of IT. So with that being said, guys, this course is going to be a really effective and really informative for the people who have absolutely no IT background. But for those of you guys who already have some certifications like the A plus security plus or something like that. You guys don't really have to take this course. You guys can just hop in and take another CompTIA course or another certificate or something like that. 
Um, this course is just about getting the fundamental fundamentals down and you know different aspects of IT. It's not really necessary. If you want to take this course just to stack up your your certifications and just to flex for the employers, go ahead and take this course. It's pretty easy to complete. It's nothing you know too complex. So go ahead and take this course. Obviously taking this course is not gonna hurt you or anything like that. It's only gonna help you. Might, might also you know teach you something new, who knows. So if you're new to IT guys, go ahead and take this course. I really recommend it to you guys. You're gonna get that basic fundamental knowledge and you know multiple aspects of IT. This course might help you decide which CompTIA certification you guys wanna do next or even which IT branch you guys wanna hop into. Like if you were like security, networking, or anything like that. So how has this course helped me so far in my IT career? Well, I just finished the course a couple days ago, so I really can't tell you guys that much yet, but I did apply to a bunch of jobs and I did do some research online and people did say that they were able to get some jobs, get a few entry level jobs with this course. However, in my experience so far, obviously I applied a couple days ago, so I did not get any callbacks yet but I will keep you guys updated in a future video. So be sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on those. So once you finish with the course, Coursera will email you the certification. And also within that email, it'll have a link where you guys can just click on it and it'll give you that option to add the certification to your LinkedIn profile. So you guys can show off to your potential employers. Not only did this course help me, you know, make my resume look better, make my LinkedIn profile look better, but I'm also using it as a way to springboard into different certifications. So for example, I'm going to be studying for the CompTIA A plus certification, and hopefully this course will help me out and give me that background, you know, that foundational background knowledge that'll help me out while studying for this CompTIA A plus. So with that being said, guys, this concludes the video. If you guys found this video helpful, please hook me up with a like and also comment down below if you guys plan on taking this course. And if you did already, let me know what you think in the comments below. And also subscribe to the channel if you guys wanna see how this course is gonna help me out in the future and also my journey on getting the CompTIA A plus certification. So thanks for watching guys. My name is Ben and I'm out. Peace.